question. Yeah, uh, that was a pretty unique opportunity for me. Uh, my head strength coach from Oklahoma State uh, gave me a call um, Friday afternoon, asked me if that I'd, be, I'd like to be involved with something like that. And uh, you know, as a former walk-on, that kind of meant a lot to me. Um, to have that opportunity to present another walk-on with a scholarship, uh, that, that meant a lot to me. So I'm happy for Jake, uh, great kid. I don't personally know him, but I've heard good stories from uh, my strength coach. So, man, uh, that, that really did mean a lot to me to be a part of that. Yeah, I, I think about that quite a bit. Uh, the journey that I've had so far, it's been incredible. Um, but I've always kind of had that put one goal behind you and land, or get another one in front of you. Uh, look at something bigger than you, your, that, that what you just did. So um, it's, been a, it's been a great experience so far, but I'm looking forward to the future. Yeah, it's uh, with a new head coach. Definitely, we've got some new nuances, but uh, you know, Kellen's still around, so uh, it's still familiar to me. Uh, not having Wit in the room is definitely a big uh, change for me. But uh, man, I've learned so much from the guy in the last few years. Uh, you talk about a leader in the tight end room, and you know, he taught me a lot. So, uh, you know, I know that there's been kind of rumors that maybe he wasn't the best teammate to the tight ends, and I, I couldn't disagree more. Uh, me and Schultz have talked about that quite a bit lately. Just kind of what we learned from him. Uh, the respect for the game that he has and, you know, what he taught us as players. So, uh, you know, utmost respect to Witt and, uh, you know, what we taught. But it's, it's time to move on. Uh, we're kind of the guys right now and uh, older guys, I guess, in the room that kind of know the offense. So we're excited. What's the biggest difference with the offense? Uh, is, it, is this the language? Are y'all running the same plays with Kevin? Yeah, there's a, you know, there's obviously a familiarity to all the guys, but it's uh, – it, there's some new stuff for sure. So we're excited. Uh, Coach McCarthy's done a great job kind of influ doing his own influence onto it. But uh, Coach, Coach uh, Kellen's done a great job for us as well. So I'm excited. Do you feel like, okay, now this is my time to show everybody what I can do now? Nothing against Wynn, obviously, but this is your time now. Yeah, I think that every day you got to kind of approach the, the practice field and the game field like that. It's your opportunity to shine. you got to Never skip out an opportunity, uh, whether it's one play in practice or it's 15 to 25 plays in practice. You got to approach every single opportunity like it's your time, and because uh, you know in the NFL, uh, not for long. So you got to make sure that you're on your t your game at all times. Blake, how are you different as a football player than your first year or two? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, confidence has come a long way for sure. Uh, you know, from game one to to what I'll be going on in my my fourth season. Uh, I'd say that's a big part. The chemistry I have with Dak now has been big. Uh, we're still building on that. Obviously, we've been away from each other. Uh, we had a few opportunities to throw the ball to each other this offseason, but uh, just to get back in this atmosphere, this environment as a team, it's, it's been big time for us, and I'm looking forward to it. And you see the receivers you have, and obviously you have Zeke. Do you sometimes go, hey, don't forget about us, but tight ends can make some plays too a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I'm always uh, kind of in Nussmeyer's ear now, the quarterback's coach, my old tight ends coach, telling him, hey, don't forget about the little guys over here. Uh, but no, we got some uh, big time receivers in our offense. And uh, so, you know, we're going to do our job as tight ends and uh, be there and be productive when it's our time. What do you think the key is going to be for you to week in and week out be, you know, a big part of this offense and, and contribute in, in a bigger way than you have in, in you know, years past? What do you, what do you think that you need to do to, to take that next step? Yeah, just trust the game plan. Uh, Coach McCarthy, Kellen, they're going to put us in good spots to make good plays when it's our time. And, uh, like I talked about earlier, just never miss out on an opportunity. Be ready, and uh, that's, that's all I can ask for. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I still joke around with Nuss quite a bit. Um, you know, we've had a great relationship. So having him uh, in the quarterback room now, just, you know, another piece. It's extra chemistry for us as the tight ends and quarterbacks. Uh, we get along great with us. So uh, now L-Dub, our, our new tight ends coach, Coach Wells, he's done a great job of kind of meshing with us as well. So uh, anytime I think you can add that, that in with the quarterbacks where you have more chemistry, I think it's great. So, uh, you know, Nuss has done a great job for me and my, my uh, trajectory. And so I'm excited to see what Coach Wells can do for me now. Yeah, um, you know, it's just, it's definitely obviously been a different, it's been a little turbulent offseason for everybody, but, uh, you know, I don't think you could ever take away what you think is one of your, uh, 
your skills. So I definitely try to stay on top of my speed, my quickness, uh, my lateral movements. Uh, but also, you got to get in there and block the, the big guys. So uh, we got a heck of a defensive line. Uh, put the pads on tomorrow. That'd be the true test for all of us as tight ends is uh, blocking those guys. So I'm looking forward to that as well. <laughs> yeah, that thing's pretty incredible. Uh, yeah, he's got about 50 or 60 yards worth of turf out there, and uh, and it's cool. We get to go out there and and play in his backyard. Uh, and, and you know, he did a great job putting us, getting us all together, and making sure we were still uh, working on stuff like that. So, and he's done a great job, um, especially not being here, I guess, in the off season, not signed yet. He man, he's been locked in ever since he's gotten that done, and he's been the leader of our offense since we got here. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. What? Do you want something like that in your backyard? <laughs> I'm going to need a little bit bigger backyard, but yeah, that, <laughs> maybe in the future for sure. <laughs> hey, uh, Blake, Mike indicated the other day that, uh, that in his view, uh, fullbacks and tight ends kind of run together a little bit. Can you talk about how you're experiencing that? Yeah, I think for sure. Yeah, for sure. Can you talk about how you're experiencing that? Yeah, for sure. You know, interesting enough, in, at Oklahoma State, we were kind of, uh, we call it the cowboy back. Uh, it was a fullback, a tight end, a wide receiver, a guy who could pretty much be versatile and do all those things. And, uh, you know, this year it looks like maybe we're going to have the opportunity to do that where uh, we can go on 12 personnel and we can be tight end, fullback, two tight ends, uh, inline tight end, and a, a split out, uh, you know, tight end, wide receiver type. So uh, to have that versatility in the room, I think it's big time for us. So uh, we can give the defense some different looks. All right, thanks, guys. The contract thing for you, Blake. I know the standpoint of where you were coming from, uh, yeah, you know, it, it meant a lot to me uh, that the Jones family would, they believe in me like they do, and Coach McCarthy being a new coach, uh, you know, go, agreeing with that. Uh, you know, obviously, Witten's been a big part of this organization for a very long time, and uh, like I talked about earlier, I've got nothing but the utmost, utmost respect for that man and uh, the way he plays the game. Um, you know, now my goal is to... Uh, Obviously, you can't completely fill those shoes, but I'm going to do my best to, to be a big part of this offense and this team. Your block game has improved a lot since you first got here. We're coming to evaluate kind of where it is today. It, 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 you know, it, it's only going to be a big part of your game with your snap on the right. No doubt. Uh, yeah, it's something that I can never uh, give up on. i got to work on that and focus on that daily, uh, especially in practice. It can never, you can never have enough footwork, uh, leverage, strike work. Um, you know, and that's that's going to be big time going for me moving forward, especially throughout the year. I got to make sure I stay on that. But uh, yeah, I think I've come a long way, but I definitely have a long way to go in that aspect. All right, thanks, guys. Oh, one more, sorry. Go ahead. What did Mike so far at the Omni? And did you ever expect or not that you would propose and then two weeks later be quarantined if you're at the Omni? Yeah, you know, uh, we talk about a proposal. Uh, probably not the best timing, but man, uh, she was happy. She's excited. Uh, I love her to death, so I was happy to get to do that before uh, I moved into the Omni. Now, you know, she, she understood uh, kind of where I was coming from. I wanted to get that done before uh, we started the season. So, uh, man, uh, yeah, but definitely a memorable moment for me and her, for sure. Thank you.